Hey guys, welcome to YDPictures.com. It's Mario, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the 3D city effect uh, using After Effects. And this is a concept used in the Kingdom Come short video on the site. So let's jump right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new composition. We'll keep these settings, that's fine, just for demo purposes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into th our 3D city assets, which will be enclosed in the project file for you guys. So you can use that. Go into the streets, and we'll pick our street alpha layer. So that's there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put in some cars. So we have a bunch of cars here that I have. We'll pick all of them and just throw them in. There they are. So what we need to do is rotate them so that they are with the street. If you hold shift, they'll snap to the closest 45 degree position or 90 degree position. Okay, so I'm just gonna animate the cars going up and down vertically. Uh, obviously for your project, you'll wanna do a little bit more in that department. Oops. You'd wanna do a little bit more in that department so it looks more realistic. Here it's gonna look really generic, but that's fine. And then for these last two, we want to turn them around because they're going to be going up instead of down. So we don't want them driving backwards. That would be silly. So we'll turn them around. Good. There we go. So then what we'll do is select all the cars. Go to the beginning here and then uh, we'll just bring them down so it reduces sort of the animating time. We'll just bring them to that position there. And then what we're going to do is turn on position for all of them and turn on the stopwatch so we can animate them. And then we'll just pick a one at a time here. Okay, so let's pick car number one. We have a keyframe there. We'll go to the very end of our set, and we'll move the car down. And you can see the animation line. We'll do the same thing for car number two, number three, and then finally the last two. And there, that's done. They're animated. We'll turn those off. Um, we can just make sure it's animating properly. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see that they're all in sync and it looks kind of weird. Um, what you can do is just grab these and offset them a little bit um, just to make it look more sort of believable. But again, you're going to want to add more cars for your project and probably cars going horizontally al along with vertically. Okay, so that's done, let's say. So we'll go into our main comp here. This is going to be sort of our controlling comp of our actual 3D city. We're going to go in and grab our city comp from this one. So we'll go under streets. There it is. We will just scale it down a little bit. I will just leave it. That's fine, actually. Or maybe we'll just scale it just so we can see what we're working with. Now what we need to do is we need to animate things in a way that allows the illusion of a 3D environment. Now we could animate everything or we can just make it into a 3D layer by clicking this little checkbox here with the, three, the cube. So if you click that, now we're in a 3D layer. You can see we have our X and Y coordinates, so we have our Y coordinates, our X coordinates, and then our Z coordinates, so depth, okay? So this is actually sitting vertically right now, so what we need to do is make it laying flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our views, and we'll go view right, okay? And then we can see it's there. So what we need to do is rotate it around the X axis so that it's sitting flat. So we'll just grab the x-axis, rotate it, holding shift, it'll snap, and then there we are. And then what we'll do is bring it down on the z-axis now, so it's sort of lower than where it was positioned. So let's go back to the front. 
So now you can see that the road is flat. So if we go to our top view, we'll be able to see it clearly. And we can actually still see the animation because we animated it in the street comp with the, the cars. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put one building in just to show you the idea of how to do the building. So we'll go into our walls folder here for our assets and we'll just pick a night wall for a night setting. You can do a day setting as well. That'll work. So wall one night and we'll put it in and we'll make it a 3D layer as well so we can see it. So here it is. There's our wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale it. So I'm going to just move the street over. I'm just going to put it in this position here, in this hole in the block. So we'll grab our wall. We'll move it this way. And you can see it's not as big. Oops. The wall is actually too big for the area that we're trying to put it into so we'll just scale it down approximately to fit where we want it to and there we go and all we have to do is duplicate the wall three more times but before we do that we want to make sure it's set up in the vertical position we're, we're set up in the top position but it's probably not set up in our vertical position so let's go to a side view so we could go to the front view or the right view we'll just go to the right view here and yes, you can see that this here, this line here, if you're unsure, this guy here is the street, okay? And then this guy is the wall. So it's actually hovering above the street. So we've got to bring it down just a little bit. And so there it is. It's lined up. So we'll go back to our top view to make the rest of the walls. Just pull it down a little bit. And all we're going to do is just click this guy here and just duplicate it a bunch of times. So there we are. So we'll grab it, one of them, and then we'll bring it up this way. That's fine. And then we'll grab these two, and we'll just rotate them around the Y axis in this case. We'll hold Shift to get them to snap. <coughs> and then we'll just line, oops, we'll line them up. Same with this guy. Now, depending which camera angles you're going to be using, you probably won't have to do all four walls. But just for this tutorial here, we're going to do that. Okay, so there we have our, all our four walls. Now, we have another problem is if you have any high shots, you're going to be able to see into the building. So what we need to do is add a rooftop. So we'll just go to our roof textures and we'll just pick one of the basic ones, a, a concrete one. So that's this one here. So we'll throw it in. We'll make it a 3D layer. Don't forget to do that. So we'll just click there. So we are making it a 3D layer. Now let's see where it went. Let's go to our front position. So there is our roof there. Okay. So what we need to do is flip it on its side. So we'll go to our right position and then we will just flip it around the X axis. And again, we'll hold shift so it's perfect. And uh, that should be pretty close. And what we want to do is lift it up pretty close to the top. So it's not sort of sitting like a mid building roof. That would be weird. Let's go back to our top position. See now it looks all wacky. Scale it down a little bit. Okay. And we'll just uh, warp it just a little bit so it fits a little bit more down this way. Okay, uh, that looks okay for now. So that's the wall, or the roof, sorry. 
So let's go to our front view and there is our building with the streets. Now we want run into a problem here in that we have a lot of things and for your project you could probably have multiple buildings to give the illusion of the actual city. Uh, if it's daytime you probably want to add a blue tint with some fractal noise uh, for clouds. But whatever. Uh, now what we need to do is animate. Now instead of animating everything we're just going to go in and add a camera. So we'll go new, camera, and uh, we'll just cut, keep it at 35 millimeter. We'll hit OK, and we have our camera. Uh, now let's go to the top view. This guy here is sort of like the anchor point of the camera. So it'll rotate around that point. Okay, so you want to set that up on your focal point of where, what you want to be the highlight of your clip. Um, we'll go to the right view and we want to make sure it's sort of set up at that, that angle. Uh, you could add a sort of upward looking thing to make it look like you were actually down below. You can bring the camera down just a wee bit just to give that illusion. You don't want to be too low because then you're looking through the floor. So then we go to our active camera and you can see the actual streets along with the building and it looks quite good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to give it more of a night look, and you can play with that later, but to do that, we'll just collect, uh, select one of the walls. We'll go to Effect, and we're going to go to Stylize, and then Glow. Okay, and we'll just leave those settings the way they are now, and we'll just copy that effect and put it, all, put it into all the walls. You don't want to really put it into the roof um, because the roof is not going to glow. Let's go to our streets comp and add the glow to all the cars as well. Because that's going to make the headlights and the brake lights of the cars glow. So if we go back here, you can see that the building is starting to glow a little bit and the cars have more of a glow to them as well. Uh, also another way to add effect is add a new layer and we're we'll at a light and for this one here we'll just add an ambient light so not 50-ish percent to 60 percent and sort of like a red glow and that's just sort of what I like my night cities to look like um, and you can see that it adds kind of a neat look now obviously you want to add some backdrops here and you want to populate the city with more buildings so it's more believable uh, the camera is sitting a little bit low uh, in this situation, you see you can see that the cars are flat. So let's just go and fix that. We'll go to our right view with our camera selected, and then we'll just bring it up a little bit. And instead, I'll just do this downward-looking kind of concept like that. Okay. So I would say we're almost close to being done here. Uh, for your project, you want more buildings, more cars, some backdrops, depending if it's day or night, you can add some fractal noise for clouds. Let's just do a sort of mini animation of the camera. So we'll go selecting the camera, hit P, set our time, our stopwatch, and then we're going to go into these settings here and select camera orbit tool. And we'll just go down to the 15 second mark and rotate the camera so it's like that kind of a neat look okay and let's just scrub through it to see what the animation looks like so we have our 3d building it sort of goes in nice and close goes over the top and then to the other side and then meanwhile you have all your cars in the background you can see your cars there um, and that's basically your basic uh, concept behind the 3D city. So again, uh, all the assets here along with other assets that you can use for your 3D city will be available in the tutorial project file. Uh, and also I'll include the After Effects project file so, just so you can see the logistics behind what I've done here. Thanks for tuning in guys to ydpictures.com. My name is Mario.